welcome and today's video is about how to not let external factors impact your personal and professional life and performance and um, so obviously as some of you would uh, know um, we've been impacted by the floods here in New northern New South Wales and continue to, to be so it's just started raining now I was gonna go for a walk and um, but this subject around not letting external factors and you know world events and, and these types of things impact our personal and professional life, it is a really common thing right now. There's a lot going on in the world. Um, you know, I've had client organizations, big organizations that have gone bankrupt so far in 2022. Um, the issue in Ukraine and Russia is impacting people directly or indirectly. Um, with the floods, for instance, um, that's impacting people directly and indirectly. Or if it's not that, there's a range of other factors that are just impacting us in society right now. So how do we not let that all get to us? Um, I was talking with a client um, today and just, just even talking about the stuff that's going on in the world just had an emotional release for them, you know, because it just feels really big. Now, I'm gonna give you the, the tip around this, how to not let it impact you, is to let it impact you. <laughs> I know that sounds counterintuitive, but this is the thing. What we do is we go, oh, there's that event and that event. Oh, you weren't in that flood or you weren't in, you know, you're not in Russia, you're not impacted by Ukraine and everything else like that. You know, who are you to get kind of um, upset about it or whatever or think about it? And what we do is we suppress our emotions then. We suppress our grief, we suppress our trauma, we suppress and all that happens is that becomes a toxic load inside of us. And what we have got to do if you want to not let external factors and those things impact your personal and professional performance is that you need to actually go closer to it and accept how you truly feel about it. And that is what is critical. So regardless of how, um, you know, um, what judgments you might have, um, just sit with how you truly feel and express that. And even, you, I mean, it's helpful to express it to someone, but even just to acknowledge it for yourself. And I've seen this repeatedly over the last kind of couple of weeks, talking to people about stuff that's like, you know, it's just like this heavy weight on them, that when they can actually talk about it and express it and acknowledge it for themselves and just go, yeah, I just need to go easy on myself right now. And I go, yeah, that's exactly it then they kind of move through it. And then they're like, within a 30 minute conversation, they're then going, yeah, you know what? I just need to get back to my routine and I need to get back on top of that action and that action action. I'm like, there you are, you're back already. So what do you need to do? You need to accept that it is impacting you at some level. To say that it's not is to suppress it and deny the truth. Just acknowledge that it is impacting you and then just feel it, whatever that kind of feels. Let the emotion come up. We go for a walk in the uh, in the country. Do something that feels good for you. But it's normally around giving yourself a little bit of silence, giving yourself that opportunity to kind of retract from the world and actually sit with how do you actually feel about it and accepting that as a truth because it will you'll move through it quicker and then it won't impact you personally and professionally and then you can be of support to other people. So please put any questions or comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this and look forward to seeing you next time. Cheers guys, bye now. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Feel free to share with friends and check out what's up next for more videos from my channel.